Hello my country people, welcome back to Spice Channel TV. War of words have continued to dominate the crisis in the River State chapter of the All Progressive Congress. With the former National Publicity Secretary of the defunct New People's Democratic Party, Eze Chukwemeka Eze, on Sunday, Replying to the oust chairman of the Rivers APC caretaker committee, Tony Okocha, that President Bola Tinibo already knows that he would lose the 2027 election. Now, Tinibo, who is on to his second year of first term and is constitutionally allowed a second term of another four extra years, but the poor state of the economy which has created untold hardship, unemployment, worsening state of insecurity, and, and attacks on free pass where journalists are hounded and adopted, some even held in solitary confinement for months, have dominated early terms and teams by opponents. And some members of the APC who are saying the president stands a good chance, you know, of losing the next election if he seeks a re-election by 2027 and no less than a than river states where the campaigns from the pdp to the apc are pushing a different narrative in favor of the president with accusations that they are making meaningful living out of rallying support for the president despite more than two solid years of the uh to the election and this has spitted the founding apc members in river state against the the campees who see the fct minister Nyesonwike as their leader as against those who see the former transport minister rotimi amechi as the south south leader of the apc and Tony Okocha and President Tinibu and Wike have found an ally who is not only fighting to sell them, but is also struggling to seize the machinery of the APC to emerge as the state's chairman. Although the courts recently kicking out Tony Okocha as the caretaker committee chairman has mobilized members and sympathizers of the APC in Rivers to stage rallies in support of the president and Wike, who was governor under the platform of the People's Democratic Party for solid eight years. Wike was also minister of state for education and local government and chairman while he was still in the PDP. Although he has stated several times that he remains in the PDP and is fighting in court to stop the party from confirming his expulsion, he is increasingly working to seize the APC structure in River State, just like he is by he is bidding to do the same in the PDP. And Amechi's influence continues to loom large wiki has spared no time attacking the former governor of the state and stated recently that there is an intention to throw up amechi's men and then amechi becomes the apc leader and uses the party to fight president bola Tinibu in 2027 this assertion however did not sit down well with uh, chukwe Meka eze who is also a chieftain of the APC, which forced him to caution Okocha from reframing using Amechi to cash out from his paymasters and their allies who feel threatened at the mere mention of the name. He said that at this point, Amechi should not be lambasted by any person. Okocha noted that... Um, Eze um, uh, noted that Okocha's paymasters and allies have been working to make Amechi a subject to, to a lampon. Eze reminded Okocha that all these things that's happening in Nigeria 
the hyper unemployment, the hyper corruption, the hyper inflation, insecurity, food price hike, and other things are, you know, these are caused by President Tinibu. And all these things will gang up together to fight Tinibu away in 2027. So he noted that Okocha is talking about 2027, but he's not even sure about now. Is a while arguing Okocha and his scourge consult Tinibu and those who form the APC to ascertain who is truly the leader of the APC in Rivers and South South. He noted that at the formation of APC, Tinibu was made the national leader of the APC. While Amechi emerged South South leader, and despite the Buhari's entrance as President Tinibu, as President, I beg your pardon, Tinibu clicked to his position as the national leader. So he admonished Okocha and those allegedly sponsoring him to be concerned about the fact that the country once known as Africa's giant has collapsed in all facts under the nose of. Tinibu and to channel his energy towards fashioning out solution if they have any to solve the pyramid of problems we have and the problems they've created in Nigeria which has slowed down Nigeria's progress. Whereby Eze accused the culture of mobilizing a paid protest in support of Tinibu which grippled over 50 million naira without any effect after his removal by the court in order to remain in the good books of his paymasters and continually curry their chairs. Well, I must say, um, it should not be too late on river state politics. The president needs to move fast to resolve the protracted and lingering crisis there before the country's mass masses will advise the National Assembly to come in. The FCT minister has done his part and he should rest in Rivers State. Now, what are your thoughts on this? Guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. Tinibu will not lose the 2027 elections. He must complete his tenure. He is not the one who caused the hunger and hardship in the North. Okay. Where were the Northerners when Buhari was in power in eight years? Hardship or no hardship? Tinibu will complete his eight, his eight years in office like Buhari did. Okay, my country people. These are reactions. I must say, um, easy you know, really uh, came out to address what Okocha said concerning Tinibu's 2027 presidential bid. And he pointed to the fact that corruption, hardship, other crises, unemployment, inflation will lead to the downfall of Tinibu ahead of the 2027 election. And he knows that because of these things, he will not win the election. So he would want to strategize to look for other ways to win the election. So my country people, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.